Good morning to one and all. Today is a bit of a sad day. It should be a happy day really, but um, it's not. So here I am in the capital city of Wales, Cardiff. The reason why it's a sad day is because um, I'm taking this bike back to the shop, to where I bought it, taking it back into Bevan's. I'm going to be bikeless without, without bike until um, at least March next year. Well, the idea is it will be March. I, I should, uh, should have uh, the new one, which is always exciting. By the way, I, I should have said that I'm actually filming this on the uh, 24th of October 2022. And just to make it clear, I have to actually wait until March 2023. So there's going to be a big empty space in the garage. But uh, in saying that, I don't use the bike a lot in, uh, in the winter. Once or twice over the winter months and that's about it. There's Triumph. All the way down here I've had that sun in my eyes which hasn't been pleasant. Can't see a thing. Ah, goodbye, babe. It's actually quite painful, isn't it? Saying goodbye to it. The top box is um, staying with me. Ah, had some good times on that bike. So, we can fast forward now. This is now, uh, what are we on? March the, March the 3rd. I've had COVID, can you believe it? I've been without a bike since October. It's freezing in the headquarters here. I can't afford to put the heating on because I'm very poor. So here we are. What did I say it was? March the 3rd and I'm cold. Just an update really. Uh, I've had my new bike. It's in the garage, which is that away. Ah, I'm so happy with it. I am so, so. I've been out on it. I've had a, a small ride around. I put about 45 miles on the clock. That's all. It's still pretty cold here in the UK. What I will say is that I haven't actually filmed anything on the bike yet, but I've been doing a few bits and pieces, a few more extras. Um, I've been going on the bike. Uh, so I'll quickly give you an update. This is not a, an unboxing or, you know, how to do video. It's just what I've done, you know. I'm not a professional, sorry. So, let's get on with it. Well, hello there. I'm in my garage. Um, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded a biking video. I'm not actually out on the bike at the moment. I don't know when I'm going to release this little bit here, but we're now the 1st of March and I've been waiting for this <laughs> for five and a half months. What a beast. I cannot tell you how excited I am to have this. I, I, I actually had it delivered. I've actually got COVID at the moment, can you believe? So uh, the shop, Bevan's in Cardiff, they, um, they decided to deliver it for me. And uh, I thought that was really, really cool. So there she is, brand new. As of today, 1st of March. And uh, I've just put the, the old top box back on. I put the rack on and everything. And uh, we'll talk about the bike later. I got a hugger to go on there as well. And ah, uh, oh, I just can't tell you how excited I am. So, in addition to the top box um, that is now fitted, 
the old Givy rack on it. Um, I've now put the hugger on as well. It's a hugger from Puge. Puge or something. And uh, it's in matte black. I didn't want the gloss black. I thought the matte black was a better fit. Um, rather than the pyramid plastics one, which is gloss. So, yeah, I've done that. So, one common fault or design issue that people have is that there's a hole behind here and it throws up all the muck and everything. So, I have bought what many others have bought one of these blanking plates. It's only a tenner or 11 quid or something. And I've got to put that up there, which, um, which I will endeavour to do now. Well, there you are. We fitted the blanking plate on uh, just above the rear light. Yeah, not bad actually. Looks all right. A bit fiddly, but uh, it's okay. I drilled these rivets in, all the holes for it, and pushed them in. It uh, it all fitted quite nicely. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. On to the next job.